Hi coaches, today we're going to focus on personal development, which is the vital behavior number three. Um, and I have some notes here so I don't forget anything because this is such an important topic and I really want to make it clear to you um, first why it's so important and why we need to do personal development and then um, how to do it because I think sometimes people get caught up like well what exactly is personal development you know does this behavior count as personal development um, and how do I fit it into my day um, so these are some of the struggles that I came upon when I first became a coach and it's some of those are some of the things that I hear from other coaches so today we're just gonna spend our whole um, day for this group uh, just about personal development okay so why you should do it um, there's several reasons but first of all uh, simply because you won't find a successful Beachbody coach that does not take their personal development seriously and if you're in this group uh, that tells us that you really want to succeed at this business um, so just know that, that this is an actual vital behavior that you're going to have to do um, to reach your goals. And um, the only way to really succeed as a coach is to help other people, right? So we've been doing this long enough um, that we know that the key to our success is helping others. And we really want to help people get results in all areas of their life. We want to help them learn um, how to take care of their health with uh, exercise and proper nutrition and meal planning and all those kinds of things. Um, but also we need to help them see in themselves what we see, help them believe in themselves. themselves. So it's important that we are constantly adding value to ourselves so that we can then give that to other people. And you can't give what you don't have and you can't lead where you haven't been. Um, so that's, you know, our job is to lead the way and be the ones to start with the personal growth. Um, and the, the cool thing that I see um, about personal development, and there's so many things I love about it, but um, kind of how I've fit it into my life is by considering the fact that I am going for a six-figure income and I'm really close to that. I'm going to reach that by the end of this year. And just really think about that you can't get something like that for nothing. Um, and I spent a long time in college and in college people told me uh, this quarter you're going to read these books and we're going to test you, you know, in this way you get a your syllabus, you know, at the beginning of the, of the semester or the term um, that tells you exactly what you're going to do uh, in order to move you closer to your goals. Well, as coaches, we have the luxury of designing our own curriculum. Um, I know that to, to have that six figure income, I have to be a person worthy of that. You know, I, it takes work. Uh, and so I kind of have my own personal growth plan and that's like my own syllabus. Uh, so really examining yourself and where you need to grow um, and then finding the resources to help you grow in those areas to reach your goals. So it's, you know, it's really that simple to me um, that it's just, creating your own personal growth plan so that you can become the person that can lead enough people to where you can then reach your own goals. Does that make sense? Um, so that's kind of the why. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about how. So how do you fit personal development in? Well, I think it's really important to dedicate at least 10 actual minutes to reading with a book in your hand, whether that be an ebook or a paper book, but there's there's something about that daily practice of sitting down and reading. But, you know, you don't need to do all of your personal development through reading. You can watch videos on YouTube. You can listen to audiobooks. And the great thing about that is that just when you're doing your daily stuff, when you're cleaning the kitchen or cleaning the bathrooms or, you know, whatever is just part of your regular routine day where you don't need to use all your brain power to clean your bathroom, just put on your earbuds and listen to an audio. Um, so that's a great way to do it. Uh, daily commute. Um, I know a lot of you work full or part time and if you have commute time, um, just you can listen to audio that way. And there's some really great places for inexpensive audiobooks. One is um, audiobook, I think it's audiobook, maybe audiobooks. Uh, I can find the link for you, but it, .com, and you can um, you can buy credits. So it's an Amazon company, uh, and you can buy credits for like eight ninety nine a month, and then you can get really inexpensive audiobooks that way. 
Uh, but YouTube is also just jam-packed. I mean, you can learn just about anything you want on YouTube for completely free. Uh, so those are some great places to start with your personal development, but the important part is that you not just learn this information, but you put it into practice immediately. Uh, and when you're first trying a new skill, you're gonna suck at it and you gotta be, be okay with that, that you just are going to have to put yourself out there and try these new things that you learn and uh, the more you do them, the better you get and the more you grow, the more you help people and that's just the beautiful process of growing as a person. So I hope that's been helpful um, just to kind of clear up what personal development is and I hope that you understand how important it is. Uh, any questions you have, please come and share them in our group and uh, we just really want to help you to make your own personal growth plan that fits you and what you are needing. Um, so I think I've rambled long enough. Let's talk more in the group um, and bring your questions and your thoughts about this topic. Thanks. Bye.